is terrifying. When I read the script, it scared the living daylights out of me. And there are a bunch of things in it that I obviously don't want to give away too much. Um, but, uh, of course, with any ghost play, there should be things that move by themselves. And there should also be people appearing in the room that aren't necessarily of this world. So you can expect to see both of those things. Um, I'm not going to say what they are, when they are, or how they are, but absolutely there are going to be a lot of magical things happening. They can expect atmosphere and sh a shadowy world. Um, a world in which the unexpected can appear out of the shadow. This particular veteran is very influenced by film noir and a lot of, uh, th there are actually stage directions written into the play describing images that emerge out of the shadows and it adds to the general atmospherics. The kind of usual things you'd expect the magicians to do and the unusual things you'd, you'd expect to see in a theatre that sometimes are reserved for film and TV. So it's great to work with Pete and with the rest of the cast and the crew who are all really excited about making this a truly terrifying experience for the audience.